actually asked some group of students to actually describe what a sickle cell disease is, all right? And they were actually giving me the definition of um, sickle cell anemia. All right? So sickle cell disease is quite different. Sickle cell anemia is rather a type of sickle cell disease. Do you understand? So just write short notes on the sickle cell disease in case. You're asking an exam, right? You can be able to reproduce, okay? So sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease is a sickle cell disorder, right? In which there is accompanying signs and symptoms. You know that what sickle cell disorder is like the parent umbrella. They have sickle cell disease. Then you have the sickle cell trait. Sickle cell trait is like, okay, somebody can be AS. They have the S. If they marry another AS person, they might they have a 25 chance of giving birth to what, SS children. Okay? So sickle cell disease now, yes, you have defects in hemoglobins and the SS and all those stuff. Okay? So sickle cell disease is like what? Another parent umbrella to sickle cell anemia. All right? So sickle cell disease, the types include hemoglobin SS, that's a sickle cell anemia. Hemoglobin SC, that's a hemoglobin sickle C disease. This is a mild form of what sickle cell anemia. All right? Then we have the what? Hemoglobin S stroke beta. This what? Sickle beta plus thalassemia. This one is another mild form of what? Sickle cell disease. All right? So you can see that this sickle cell disease is like what? A bigger version. All right? Contains everything. When you're talking about sickle cell anemia, you're simply talking about this hemoglobin SS only. All right? That's a difference. We still, we still have another types. We have the um, HBS lipol. This is an uncommon sickling disorder that mimics sickle cell this anemia. We have the hemoglobin SD. We have the hemoglobin SE. And this is a hemoglobinopathy resulting from the combination of what, hemoglobin S and hemoglobin E genotypes. All right? So we said that uh, we, these are some points you need about sickle cell disease that inherited disorder that affect hemoglobin. Inherited. Most common type is sickle cell anemia. That's why people tend to misunderstand the concept of sickle cell disease and sickle cell anemia, but they're actually two different things. Sickle cell anemia is a type of sickle cell disease, right? We have abnormal hemoglobin, which will cause red cells to become rigid and sickle-shaped, okay? The problems will start around five to six months of age because it's inherited, so it will show up when you are just a kid, right? Complications include chronic pain, stroke, organ damage, failure, average life expectancy. Most people with this type of disease condition will live at most just between 40 to 60 years, right? They don't cross like that, right? If you want to diagnose this blood disorder, the best you could do is what? A blood test, okay? So basically look at what the hemoglobin and um, how the blood is even shaped and all this stuff, okay? So that's it about the sickle cell disease, definition, and types, okay? Bye for now.